Welcome, all medical students from around the world, your mentors, and our IFM attendings at this meeting. I'm so glad to hear you interested in the special IFM Medical Student Symposium. Let me introduce myself. My name is Judith Tintinelli, and you may have heard or seen my name associated with Tintinelli's Emergency Medicine. Yep, that's me. All my friends, and that now includes everybody here, please call me Dr. T. Now, every medical student and every doctor needs to know the emergency care basics. Things like CPR, what are the stroke signs? What are the acute MI signs? What are serious signs of emergency illness or trauma? How to stop bleeding? The trouble with, with all of this has been that medical schools and deans are not really aware of this type of information. So we're here to talk about how emergency medical, or about how, how medical students can improve their medical training. Whether you're going to, thinking about going into emergency medicine or thinking of another specialty, these are all facts that are very important for clinical care and for practice. I want you to know that you have the power to make change. I'm going to give you one medical student short story. It is a true story, and it shows the power that you have. A long time ago, a medical student at the University of Cincinnati named Bruce Janiak needed an extra job to pay for his medical school. He took a job as a director of an ED in rural Kentucky. He was a medical student. He realized the opportunities for care and learning that that environment provided. He went to visit the dean. He said, Mr. Dean, do you know about emergency medicine? We need to set up training programs for all of our medical students and for our residents in emergency care. And the dean listened to him and Bruce Janiak became the first emergency medicine resident in the United States. And the University of Cincinnati, because of Bruce, set up a very honored and wonderful emergency medicine residency program. So it doesn't matter what you're interested in going into. You might, you're going to learn about emergency medicine and you're gonna see if it's a good fit for you in practice. But in the meantime, I want you to know that you as a medical student have great power. Deans listen to you. You can change your curriculum, you can improve it, and remember the power you have as an individual to improve health and health care for everybody you care for. Thank you for listening and enjoy the meeting.